Hey guys, it is Lily here from Crafting Through Mental Health and today I have been challenged. So, my mate tagged me in a Facebook post with this video. It's meant to look really simple sort of art just using string and a bit of paint. So what I'm going to do today is try it out, see if it actually works. It's meant to be really easy for kids as well. So. Is it that easy? Let's see. And if it is, I'm going to tag a few people in this as well. So I'm wearing my lovely apron that my sister bought me. I've got my normal sketchbook. I've got my green acrylic paint. And then I've got my bit of string. So they said it was for kids, so I'm using acrylic paint first. I think they've done it with inks as well. Let's try and do it very basically. So you got a kind of wet this with the paint. I've also got lots of backup kitchen roll just because it can get really messy. I can, I'm assuming from this I've never done this before so let's see how it goes. I feel like I'm gonna have to actually get my hands stuck in this. Ah I don't like getting dirty. Not show this in the videos okay. So I'm just trying Bob Standard acrylic paint, see if that works. I have a feeling this won't work, I have a feeling this will be a massive fail. I've got my string that I think looks a bit dodge and then you just pop this around there, maybe I should have made it a bit longer. Then you press this down and just, and then you press it all down squash it in and then pull. Now let's see if this actually worked. It's stuck together and it, eh. I'm gonna vote that was okay-ish. Maybe I didn't do a better enough design. Um, maybe this needs more water. I don't know. So why don't we try adding a bit of water in there? Get a bit wet. pull that out so this time I'm gonna go more like that press down and pull and I'm gonna pull really fast but it's really dirty so I'm worried it's gonna splatter all over my room push down hold down and actually get a grip of it Probably was going to do it faster than that. And it's made my paper rip. Now I've got this harder book. It's paper sort of is what I would call just normal sketch paper. It's kind of like a weird smoothness. So let's give this one a go. It's an A4 one. It's probably going to bleed through, but it's okay. It's a bit cheaper paper, so hopefully we'll see how that goes. Now I'm going to use this, so it's from Tiger, it is liquid watercolour. So I've made the string a lot more longer this time, it's a bit more wetter. Here we go. God, I can't even pull it out. That one, you can see more of the effect there, but it's kind of like already bled out a little bit and bled through several pages. I'm going to try this, see how it goes. It is my Windsor and Newton inks. Which colour shall I go for? Shall I go for blue, black? Let's go for green again. I like a nice green. Third time lucky, eh? So this is Viridium. Can you see it? I love the designs on the Windsor and Newton inks. I'm gonna make this one like this. Try and be quite quick with it again. It did it! Look! 
Oh, yay! So you can see more of the effect with it. So this is the sort of design it makes. Oh, so the ink is the way to go. It's like a wave. You could put like a person surfing on that. And then we try it with the black. So ink is the way to go with this, guys. So maybe being a bit more ruffle with it is better. Let's try it on the same page. Oh, maybe I did look at the wrong page. Yeah, definitely more ink. Look at that, that's so cool. And then that was the previous one, I just looked at the wrong page. That's really cool. Let's try another one. This will be your last one, I promise. I'll try it with the blue. Is that it? I think so. Yeah. That's that one turn it into a dog put a little eye there well I'm gonna finish it here guys so that's that one and then we've got this one it would be a really cool um, shape challenge as well to do um, through that one as well and then the first one that went well is this one probably my favorite actually I like the different greens in there I'm gonna tag two small youtubers both do mental health content and I'm gonna tag by Polar Pug. She makes amazing mental health content and really good fun videos. So definitely check her out. I'm also going to tag Zoe Early's art channel. She's just started up a new art channel. Um, she also has a mental health channel as well. So I'll link that down below. But I tag her as well to try out this challenge. All you need is some string, some inks of some sort and uh, some paper. Preferably a sketchbook of some sort with a bit of a harder back if you do try this challenge out please tag me in it on instagram twitter and facebook all links are down below and if you haven't already please subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you next week bye